Welcome back, guys. And today we got some freaking sandcastles to be made. Are doggy chiropractors safe? <laughs> New broomstick foil boards? That's crazy. <laughs> this guy will steal your girlfriend and take her on a ride she'll never forget. Laird's new seaplane goes terribly wrong. <laughs> Laird! This guy stole my wife again. No way. New boogie board school system is taking off and everyone's taking notice. Dude. Look at her. Edible surf wax now on stores. I've always wanted to try that. I've always wanted to eat my wax. Steve Irwin shreds? What? He rips. Surf bro. Oh no. Uncle takes cracks. Horse boarding? Horse boarding is now in session? You won't believe what happened to this guy. Whoa. Raymana's new surf lessons are now exposed. Whoa! And they're more juicy than we thought. He's crazy. He's crazy. Hey, how's it? You know the rules. <sighs> Testing. Testing, one, two, three, Sterles. We're back with another hit podcast. What's up with stop signs, dude? Dude, what is up with stop signs? <laughs> what is up with stop signs? I was driving to the beach the other day. Yeah. And I had to stop like 20 times. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what's up with this? <laughs> you don't like to stop. Well, do we need to stop? There are tons of stop signs that I roll through. I'm getting to an age where I'm like, I don't think I'm going to stop anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You know when you start getting older, when you're just like, stop. I don't that. need to stop. Because <laughs> <laughs> where I live, it, it's like, one black stop sign. One black stop sign. One black. <laughs> Dude, I was um, in a backyard in your neighborhood years ago, and there's all these like four way stops, and some of them aren't four way stops. And I was sitting by a pool with a friend, and we hear, <laughs> and we jump out, and somebody had ran a stop sign, <laughs> and the car was upside down, and this old lady was like crawling out the. So, seat. what are you trying to say? So, you should stop. <laughs> I think we well, should have yield signs everywhere. And you just. Okay, and there's no cars, I'm going to go. Right. Like, you don't need to come to a full stop. Right. And then if a car is coming, you stop. <laughs> yeah, that's a yield sign. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't need stop signs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but there's still teenagers driving. We need roundabouts everywhere. Round. I agree. Even though no one knows how to use them. No here. one knows how to use them. <laughs> I always see some like guy from Alabama like, Oh my gosh, when someone gets to a, a roundabout and they're like. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one guy, instead of like follow with it, he turned left going against. <laughs> oh the I got to go that way. And I am just, I just stopped and I'm like, and I'm like, you've never been anywhere, have you? No. Yeah, my first exposure was in Ireland and I was like, whoa. And everyone's just like. <laughs> they go so fast. Yeah. And Americans just, we need red latch stop signs. We need to stop. What's weird is we we constantly love doing everything faster. Right. Except for stop signs. Yeah. I mean, I would encourage young ver viewers to stop at stop signs. I'm not <laughs> I'm not telling people to stop stopping. stopping. I'm saying maybe we should switch to just yield signs. Okay. All right, I can back that. So everywhere you're going, you're almost coming to a stop. Right. And then if there's no cars, you just go. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tracking with you. I was also driving to the beach and <sighs> you'll ever see like a, just a porter potty on the side of the road. Just, yeah, like a construction site or something. Or just like anywhere. Okay, yeah. I well, I was, I was driving and I see this guy like calmly walking into a porta potty like in the middle of nowhere like being cool <laughs> he was like hmm, 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 hmm. like yeah, i guess i'll go to and that. i was like dude i bet he was about to explode <laughs> <laughs> like, like playing it cool anyone that's walking into a porta potty it's an emergency right no one's just like maybe i'll just stop by this porta potty <laughs> it's like you have to pull over and you're like dear lord this is the big one dude tell the story of when we caught our cousin <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Speaking of porta potties, Sterling has the best story of our cousin Justin. We love Justin. He's the best. <laughs> so Justin is like, <laughs> his brain works faster than like a cocker spaniel's. He's like, have you ever seen that movie where the squirrel drinks an energy drink and he's like, can <laughs> see in slow motion? That's just. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, that's our cousin. <laughs> that's, that's just. He was moving so fast. He's in slow motion. Yeah, we're all like. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> so I, we were like six <laughs> or seven. <laughs> we're at the baseball fields. Right. And my, I remember my dad was like, he was in dad mode, like walking with his pockets. Like, yeah, his socks are flapping. And I, I was like, oh, I got to go. The, I had my own emergency about to happen. Right. I was like, oh, there's a porter potty back there. <laughs> so I like run back and I walk in and Justin's on his knees. I'm, like, I'm looking at him and he had three straws he put together. <laughs> 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 and like, he... Yeah, like three, he put three giant straws together yeah, to make man. it real long. Yeah. <laughs> and and then he looks at me and he's got blue <laughs> all over his face. I'm like, Justin, Justin. <laughs> he's like, huh? <laughs> I run out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I run out. I'm like, Dad. <laughs> he's, my dad's like running back with his freaking <laughs> cargo shorts. His khakis on. <laughs> Oh. And he runs and opens the door, and Justin's still like, <laughs> like he didn't stop. He's like, more. <laughs> oh my god! My dad grabbed him by the hair because <laughs> he was so freaked out. He's like, <laughs> and Justin's like, ah! It blew. So he's mm-hmm. drinking the freaking water from. So the So then my dad grabs him like this, <laughs> and Jay, his his dad is teaching the softball. <gasps> Our church sisters were playing softball. Oh, okay. And my dad and JB oh. were sponsoring the team. Right. I think JB was coaching them. Okay. So my dad's like carrying Justin and Bye-bye. brings him out. And he's like, he was drinking porta potty <laughs> blue <laughs> shit. <laughs> and everyone's like, ah! Oh. Girls are like throwing up on the softball. You're like, ah! <laughs> and he's got the straw. <laughs> he wouldn't let it go. <laughs> That is insane, dude. Oh, I remember it made me feel weird for like years. <laughs> Just thinking about it, it's like traumatic. Like, how could he do it? <laughs> Maybe that's his secret. <laughs> There's oh. natural medicines. Oh, God bless you, Justin. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey there, thrill seekers and wave chasers. This segment is brought to you by our awesome sponsor, Esteem, the ultimate destination for radical surfwear. So follow them on Instagram at Esteem Surf Co. and get some radical surfwear at esteemsurf.com. Dude, have you seen Matthew McConaughey's son? He's like a shredder. He's like a real surfer? Yeah. Whoa. This is really him. That'd be so sick if your dad was... Matthew? He, he seems like so positive and Yeah. Look how good he surfs. He shreds. Like a legit surfer i wonder how old he is i think he's like six, 16 or something whoa what the what is this it's a freaking new wave ball it's like <laughs> is it like surf t- uh torture who came up with this one <laughs> whoa this could be an olympic soon oh my gosh Ugh. so tell me you're a rich white kid without telling me you're a rich white kid <laughs> right <laughs> seven hundred dollars hip Nine hundred dollars. Yep, we're bored. We're bored. <laughs> <laughs> we're bored, and our parents don't love us. <laughs> what the? Are the fans keeping them up? <laughs> so that's the thing. You just keep twirling it, and that's the trick. I could die. Twirl, 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 twirl. <laughs> the guys in the background are huge fans. <laughs> so I got remarried, and yeah. dude, the. F- this freaking guy stole her too. The lone rider? The freaking shallow rider. Look at him. Whoa. He just got that couple pregnant. <laughs> Whoa, look at him. He looks like a little detective or something. Billy! 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 Tim, it actually looks super fun to me. I know. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you just rocked my world. Okay, so this is a animal chiropractor. Right. Does the dog, how do they know his neck needs to be cracked? <laughs> it's another loophole, dude. Yeah, I know. Look at that ear. We ring. just love hearing crunching. Oh, no. What the? What is he building? What is all this? Let's get a launch pad. It's a hydro broom. Whoa, he did it. Yeah, so so that's all, it. <laughs> all that money, all that time, just for that. This is the peak of hydrofoils. Hi, lady. Come on in. Don't worry. The water is fine. 
Okay, we got her. Okay, we're gonna make a baby in front of all of ya. <laughs> uh, one and a two. Ah. Look, she can put her leg up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that necessary? No. <laughs> Is this an OnlyFans account? Whoa. <laughs> this seems a little sexual. Yeah, this is... This what is going on? Where is this? Hopefully there's no kids watching. This has to be Brazil. Dude, look at this guy. Whoa, dude. Question. Yes. What if he put all this time into actually learning the guitar? Now, this guy's forefathers from hundreds of years ago stood on battlefields with swords. <laughs> also, this guy could be doing this. <laughs> I would love to see his actual guitar skills. I bet he can shred. If he can shred, I'm okay with this. But if he's like, I don't know how to play, then it's like, dude. Wasn't that how Post Malone got into guitar? I taught myself how to play guitar. I started making my beats. Now you learn how to play guitar off a of Guitar Hero? Yeah, that's what I got. That's <laughs> why that? It's good for something. There's another bored white people. What the? But look, then he wow. just. Holy. Oh. Ah, oh, I should have done it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you almost hit the... on the boat, and that guy got a rash. But what is this? He's like, all right, guys, I got this new hydrofoil. Take that, Laird! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy! Malfunction! Dude, <laughs> he could have died right there. So, dude, my bodyboard courses are really taking off. Yeah, what's going on? I started this bodyboarding uh, club, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, like, I came up with, like, some of the most, like, innovative tools to help like technology boogie boarders to spin better let's check it out look at her wait that's just an office chair yeah but look look how <laughs> oh no one's thought of it to, see how it clicks in Whoa. look at her now she, she couldn't do that what it works and now she's she's spinning everywhere dang all because of my new program my office chair program wow you got some chicks dude yeah, it brings all the babes in. <laughs> I have to stand over them and make sure they're spinning okay. So you only train women. Right. But look how good they're all doing. Dude. Looks pretty fun. I want to wear a thong and spin. Look how happy she is. <laughs> Taint. So without the office chair, they would just be going straight. They wouldn't even know where they are without my secret office training. <laughs> I won a boogie board contest once. You won a boogie <laughs> <laughs> Did you really what, tell the story? So it was one of the local contests. Yeah. And I like won my surf divisions. Okay, so you've already won the surf division. And there was only one boogie boarder and he had no one to boogie <laughs> against. <laughs> How old were you? Probably 14. Okay, so you got all the energy in the world. So he didn't have anyone to boogie against. Right. So I was like, oh, I'll do it. And I grabbed <laughs> just a boogie and had no flippers. And dude, I went out and like tore butt. Like spun? I did like the craziest barrel roll. And this <laughs> poor kid, like he just wanted someone to, to <laughs> boogie against. And I'm out there just like <laughs> cry stairs. Like, <laughs> like I was, and I would stand on it and like do shove it. And then they're like, can you do this? <laughs> You're doing no compliance. I was like surfing on it and like, <laughs> I was like going nuts and I beat the kit. Like he just wanted to do the contest yeah. and I like destroyed it. You him. already won the surf. I'd like never boogie boarded in my life. <laughs> 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 it made him even sadder. Oh. Like if he didn't even have anyone. Did you get a trophy or anything? Mm -hmm. Where is it? I don't know. That'd be sick. What do you do with all your old trophies? Because I think I saw once a lot of them in a grocery cart. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up with that? Yeah, I push them around and hand them out. I want <laughs> Let everyone, people touch them. I want everyone to know what it feels like. Dude, is this the new wave pole technology? Yeah, Japan. <laughs> Dude, I would take this. This is better than what I was serving yesterday. We need one of these everywhere. Just every town need to... Just so you do. could at least ride some. I would take this. That's how desperate I am. Florida surfers are desperate. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> Dude. It's so weird how high he gets. I must feel great. How's his lower <gasps> back? Seriously. It must be tense. <laughs> his body form looks similar to ours. Yeah, thick in the back. So he must have back pain. Who would have thought a freaking butt surfer would be getting higher than anyone? <laughs> One day we're going to hear on the news, man decapitated by foil border. I think it's happened. Has it really? Mm -hmm. So dude, did you hear about kelly slater's son that he's never talked about he has a daughter right he has a daughter but he has a son he's like 
Oh, doesn't want anyone to know about oh, him because no. he's like so good at surfing. Really? He doesn't want people to know. <laughs> so he's hiding the fact that he has a son. He he won't post pictures of him on Instagram. What? Dude, check it. Whoa. Whoa. See how good he is? He's packing. That's Kelly's son. This is his, so he pays all these guys to protect him? Yeah, this is his security team. <laughs> Kelly hires the security team that no one sees him. So he's ashamed of him. I think he's mad about his donk. Dude, because he would his buns. <laughs> so Kelly has tried to bury this, and he's coming out, starting his own stuff. Well, this kid finally wants a piece of the pie. <laughs> <laughs> this poor girl. Ugh. That's could, somebody's mom. Could you imagine if uh, you were dating this girl, and like you're just scrolling through Instagram? <laughs> All of a sudden, she's like, Is that Clarissa? Is that Clarissa? And she's like, <laughs> You're like, Oh no. I was wondering why the pots were <laughs> no. smelling weird. Have, you look at the pots in your kitchen, like, Wait a <laughs> second. I cooked gumbo in that last week. When do you crack the seal with a girl with a fart? So, this one time I got married. Yeah. <laughs> and on the honeymoon. Yeah. The next morning. So we were staying at this hotel and I ordered a cheeseburger first thing in the morning. <laughs> Why? Just because you're like, oh, I'm in a hotel. Yeah, honeymoon. So I ate a cheeseburger f like first thing in the morning and <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like in deep dream state. And dude, I let the the biggest fart of my- So you're like half. Of my entire life. I'm with my new wife. Yeah. And it was so loud where it woke me up and it was still going. Like, <laughs> and I forgot I was like married. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> and then I was like, wait a second. I looked over and she's, <laughs> she's looking at me. She's like, frightened. She's like, <laughs> she was shaking like with a blanket around her. She's like, oh, oh, what have I done? Who have I married? So you waited till after you got married to fart? Yeah. Dang, that might be a well. That was the first big blow. Okay, so you let out some tweakers. Yeah, and then that was the but that was the big one. <laughs> and it was the night, the morning of my honeymoon. <laughs> Just <laughs> I was watching um Joe Rogan with Hulk Hogan, and I guess Hulk Hogan said his hero was Laird Hamilton. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> we should watch the. I wanted to be him. You wanted to be Laird Hamilton. Well, I saw him riding those big ways, bro. That big, tall, blonde guy that was built yeah. like crazy. I said, man, I wish I could have been him instead of me. Joe Rogan and them were just talking about how like amazing surfers are and how they could die at any second. But I think in the clip, Hulk Hogan's like, I wanted to be Laird Hamilton. They are pretty similar. Yeah, the alpha. Dude, Pensacola Beach. Dude, this is where I swim every day. Yeah, you were just out there yesterday. That thing's a oh dinosaur. <sighs> so yeah, these things are out there, bro. He was tired. Get me out of here. These guys are crazy for helping this pup. Whoa. My hair has never looked this good. Now I have surfer curls. Is this really? <laughs> the far. Whoa. Whoa, did you see the spray? <laughs> Surf spray. <laughs> Every, all day everyone's like, what's your hair secret? Yeah. Just live. Yeah, but you're blessed with good hair. Beach. You think it's the beach? Mm-hmm. Mm. I've had bad hair days. Yeah. And I <laughs> come back from the beach and all of a sudden it's like, hallelujah. This is glowing. So maybe maybe people do need this if they don't go to the ocean. <laughs> Look at that dog. He's so uh, scared. I don't really trust you. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> I knew you were up to no good. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'd be scared. A meerkat? This how do you how do you catch it? He's like, yeah, this needs a tail re operation. <laughs> a snake. <laughs> how do they know? And what school did he go to to learn snake cracking? <laughs> yeah, is there a snake? <laughs> this guy just made this up. That 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 guy's a serial killer. Who's this? Whoa, buggy foil. Yeah, his dangling flippers. <laughs> really? <laughs> Pick your feet up, John. I come. I'm kind of into this. I would do this. He must have terrible lumbar support though. Right. I like his flippers just very <laughs> tapping. Just edible ever, surf wax. I have always wanted to eat surf wax when I look at it. It smells, it so smells like coconut love. My question is, does this wax work? No. There's no way. This guy. I'm on to him. 
He looks like a youth group guy. <laughs> oh no! Does he have any bracelets on? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So you're saying youth pastors wear bracelets? Dude, <laughs> you know a youth pastor from a mile away. Bracelets. They get all these bracelets, right? And they had they get the those shirts that are like soft and kind of loose here. Yeah. Like, it's kind of loose <laughs> and soft, and they get the, all the bracelets, and they wear boots all of a sudden. They always have boots, some sort of like cool guy boots. Yeah, like boots that aren't tied. Yeah, and then hair gel. Yeah, and then all of a sudden their hair is super tight on the side, like, <laughs> and then like, like surfer curls in the front. <laughs> Blue forty two, shit, hey hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Dude, nothing makes us more angry than someone cutting us off. Cause yep. you, we know. They know. They know. That we that know. We know. That they know. That when they cut us off. <laughs> that was deep. So this is, he did this on purpose. He kicked his board out. Yeah. And his leash. <sighs> What's funny is um, I remember my dad doing that. Shut up. Did you ever get, did your dad ever get into a fight on the water surfing? I remember this one boogie boarder tried to fight him. Shut up. He was so muscular. Oof. Yeah, it was really random. Um, but I think this guy was doing steroids. Yeah. He had the pimples on his back. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, if you do steroids, you get these huge pimples on your back. Yeah. You didn't know that? No, how would I know that? This boogie boarder, he's so jacked and he had all the pimples. <laughs> and he was so mad at my dad. I, I never really seen anyone get mad at my dad. Yeah, you're like. Because no one really tried to take away from my dad right because he was local edge and everyone was just stoked to see him surf right. but this guy wanted to challenge him he's just so full of so how did it end your dad just I think he off. slashed our tires shut up we got back to the he left early and we got back to the van and the tires were slashed dude your dad must have been so mad 90s was rad because you could like slash tires and yeah there's no security camera yeah there's no camera it's like <laughs> it's way funner then yeah could get away with no. now it's like everywhere. dude i remember the 90s was crazy for me <laughs> as a surf kid yeah because it was like battle royale <laughs> yeah <laughs> like <laughs> so there was another surf shop that hated my dad's surf shop right and <laughs> and in the 90s they were all like partying and stuff and i remember we had this like mailbox we called it i i called it the surfer mailbox yeah it had stickers and and it was oh at your house mm -hmm. oh okay and they would come over like every weekend and bash it hit it with a baseball bat or yeah, something they would beat it <laughs> no way yeah. yeah and they would spray paint on our driveway like uh yancey sucks and stuff <laughs> with the surf shop logo they're like they're, emblem yeah and so uh so then like they vandalized our shop and they put Team Duke makes me puke <laughs> on the front of the surf shop. What are they, Dr. Seuss? With the, what's funny is like, Team Duke. how dumb are they where like another surf shop vandalizes. <laughs> you know who it is. They put their logo on it. Like, <laughs> dude, the 90s, you could do crazy yep. stuff. And what's now, we see, we see like, only I remember that stuff. Right. But you still see that surf shop and you remember that stuff and it's hard to, you're still like, what an idiot. Yeah. Like you used to vandalize it. Like if you did that now, you'd be in jail for 10 years. Right. But then you could just, hey, we're going to go. And they threw bricks into our windows and. Dude. So my dad got like the craziest hate because um, all these surfers were just so jealous of him. So did it, no one ever got caught? Nothing ever happened? I don't think so. One time, uh, not that surf shop, but in Alabama, my dad had a, a shop and the manager of the store, he, he, he started digging this hole that went under the shop and went into the basement of the shop. You're kidding. I'm not. So when he, after work, he would dig this hole. It took him months. He dig the hole under the shop ripped it up and stole all the stuff shut up and so his he took it all home he still lived with his mom 
And his mom, she's like saw all this inner light stuff everywhere and she ratted him out. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember as a kid going over there and uh, walking in the tunnel. Shut he, up. He built to steal just leash. He stole like leashes and skateboards. And inner light shirts. Yeah, like it wasn't even like that much. And he was like, what, 19, 20, 20? And he was probably like 25. God, who was it? We can cut it out. I can't remember. Oh. Dude. But in the 90s, it was like... Free for all. I remember like grown men trying to fight me. <laughs> you know, you can bleep this out like... Wah, wah. Yeah. So I'm like 14. Yeah. And then when I was 14, I started getting like pretty good. Yeah. And the waves were kind of bigger and this guy was kind of scared to surf bigger waves. So I would just paddle way out and I'd be like... <laughs> and just go by him. And he's like... Arr. Like he was so and mad. he's a grown man. He was 35 year, five year <laughs> old man. <laughs> And you're a teenager. And I'm 14 years old. Gosh. And he gets in my face, he grabs my rash guard, and he's like, you take all the ways. Yeah. And dude, my dad saw it, and he like freaked out. Dude. I've never seen him freak out. Did he get in his face? Oh, my dad was like about to kill the guy. Dude, I wish he would have. Like, <laughs> dude, the 90s was crazy. I remember just so many like fights. And um, it was weird being so young because... um. <laughs> All these people hated me because I was my dad's son. Right. And it was weird, like, when you're a kid just trying to learn and understand life, and you have these grown men, like, giving you stink eyes, and, like, <laughs> you don't even know how to process it. You're just like, yeah. well, what did I do? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, like, picking my nose. Like, <laughs> I would love to see your dad beat the crap out of that guy. And there's so many surf shop wars. They should do a movie on just surf shop wars. Yeah, dude, a reality <laughs> show. Because I bet there's way crazier stories. Yeah. Like back in the 70s and stuff, like the Dogtown years. Dude, for sure. They would legit like probably kill each other. Beat each other to death. Dude, Steve Irwin is just a legend. So, dude. I didn't know he could surf. He shreds. It looks like, a, like someone surfing for him. No. Because they're so good. Yeah, it's him. It's really him. So look Steve, at him. He's, he's wearing booties. Look at him. <laughs> Spike. <laughs> I didn't know. Watch this, but. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, what a freaking legend. Look how good he serves. Backside. <laughs> he's jumping head first. For snakes. Dude, he has no fear oh. of anything. Look at those waves are ginormous. So, dude, when oh, I, I went to Bali yeah. when I was young, 13. Yeah. And dude, I was, it was late at night because we just flew in. Okay. And we didn't know if we should stay up or go to sleep. Mm. So it's like four in the morning. Yeah. And I'm walking around Bali and I'm like, wow, this is such a weird place. Like scooters and sheer weird. And dude, he's dressed just like this. And his Steve UPS. Steve walks right up to me. Shut and he's up. just walking around like, and I was like, oh, he's like, Good eye, mate. He was so, like th four in the morning, like good eye, and he was just so nice, like walking around, like just like this. Why four was he up and around? I don't know. Probably about to film. And he wasn't super famous yet, right? So it wasn't a huge freak out. And then his show got really popular on mm -hmm. the one of those networks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, I would like, I was like, ding, I was like, and then he was surfing. And I didn't think anything of it. Because it's like, oh, just some guy. I didn't realize it was him. That's Were you out surfing with him? <laughs> yes. Like, I don't, this looks like kind of 90s. Yeah. This was early, oh, it was like 2000 when I saw him. Dude, so I did not know until you sent me this clip that he was a surfer. That is so cool. He's an amazing surfer. Look at him backside on a huge. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he jump like that? <laughs> did he see a snake? Yeah, he's like, snake! <laughs> Dude, this made my sick. Why you rock on? <laughs> what? Why you want scracks? Why you want snacks? Oh, you want a snack today? Huh? What? Gosh! Dude. That guy's like, okay. Da. Is... I'm sick of you. <laughs> da. You naughty rose. Who wants it? Da. Oh. Dude. What's funny is like, no one knows what's going on or everyone's why. Like, it's like, who's, who's mad? Dude, this guy Gosh. messed with the wrong brother. Dude, a surfboard hit? Is that legal? A crack? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of not cool. This is an this must be an old video. This is the nineties. 
Yeah. Like this was the North Shore every day. Right. You know why you can tell it's the 90s? The length of the board shorts. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Rag and the boards. Whoa. Whoa. Horse surfing? Dude, we're surfing everything now. I know. Look <laughs> Look at the crowd. This is more than a WSL event. Did he win? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ah! Wipe out. Ooh. Why is he? Good eye, Mike. This is the winner. Whoa. Dude, that actually does look kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we should we should go do this somewhere. Um, let's do it. Dude, can we rent a horse? <laughs> Dude, humans. <laughs> if we can ride it, we're riding. We're it. riding. Oh, shark Ooh. attack. We were just talking about this. We were just Is this new Smyrna? <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about this. Remember I said Yep. Smyrna. Dude, how many shark attacks are there a year? I think there's 25. Well, there's a lot in New Smyrna. So, dude, New Smyrna is so scary. It yeah, it's like the hub the of pressure. shark attacks. And That's where they breed. Oh, is that why? Like crunch. I heard the crunch. I heard the, I heard the crunch in my face. Yeah. On my face. But I had a feeling. I had a feeling I was going to get bit yesterday. I really did. Honestly, I had intuition. Ooh. Wow, that's Maybe interesting. Mark something. thinks that the gold I had a feeling I was going to get bitten in the face. So why'd you go out? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever... They call it Shark Park. Shark Park in New Smyrna. Because mm -hmm. all the breeding goes on there. You used to wear a gold necklace or something when you would surf. Did you ever think about that? Because it kind of looks like, like it could be like a real, like a lure for a fish. Really? Yeah, because like... Did they say that? Did that's he what he said. Up? He's saying that his necklace, his gold necklace, he thinks maybe made him get bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Get off. Where are you? You skinny, you skinny bear. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird thing. This bear is so confused. Like, holy <laughs> shit. Who are you? Oh, come on. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. Where are you? Huh? You know we're here. Where? You're so skinny. So, you know our boy, Raymana? Who love. does all the freaking surf lessons? You will surf, dude. I found some of his like older surf lessons. Oh, like you unearthed it? Yeah, I unearthed it. <laughs> <laughs> so you found old footage? Yeah, I found this old ninety footage of Raymana's training program. It's insane. Look, what? Wait, look. Ah! So, <laughs> dude, they throw boots at him and freaking. <laughs> so he's like, training. no worries. I love you. <laughs> 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 oh god. No worries. I still love you. I love everyone. This is how we surf. Follow my directions and... <laughs> they threw a freaking armoire at him. Dude, he's like... So he's always been groundbreaking. He's always taking surf lessons to the next level. <laughs> There's a fire! <laughs> Raymana. <sighs> Nothing can stop him. I loved his hair back then. I know. He looks great. Oh, dude. Give me that skateboard. <gasps> he skateboards now? Dude, he's so good. Watch this. Look at these shoes. How'd they get on his feet? That was sick editing. Whoa, look how good he is. <laughs> I didn't know he could skate. He did a shove it. Sick. Oh my, he's got women. <laughs> what is the, what is the ending? What is the? <laughs> is this a joke? I don't know. I love him so much. <laughs> it's dude. gotta be a joke. Edelo, we freaking love you, dude. This is the most insane thing you've ever made. I love, I love his surfboard. Nope. Skateboard. Don't need the surfboard. I love that she's like, ping. Uh, and he's like, oh, yes. Look, I can skate. I can squeeze. Ah. I love, <laughs> love the girl. Uh, <laughs> where is he going? <laughs> that is the best effort when they made that and sent it to the company. They're like, what the? F <laughs> they're like, no, this is really good. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use it. It, it, it is surprising. He is like one of the best surfers on the planet and he can barely ride the <laughs> skateboard. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is back in the 20s. These are the first rollerbladers. Have you seen this footage? Hmm. Check this out. So these were what? the first made fun of rollerbladers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they got the chicks back then? No way. Even the chicks back then were like, who are these losers? <laughs> oh, this looks cool. It does look cool. Is that Hitler? That was Hitler <laughs> and the Peanuts guy. <laughs> Look at that. That guy's already yeah. doing... This is like the first kook. This is pretty... <laughs> we found the first kook. <laughs> Hitler. I, I loved Roller <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> Hitler's <laughs> by far the first kook. 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 Stuck on my nip. Suck it! 
All right, Danny, we're gonna we're gonna DP him. <laughs> Dude, if you need this much right. support, serving, maybe go back to the office. No, this guy's stoked. He once he's up, he's got it. But think about this: the modern world created a way for this man who would have never surfed again in his life is surfing. I mean, how much money did it take for him to get to this place? All those engines. There's trains. There's people. <laughs> Raymana flew in from Tahiti <laughs> just to get this guy. Hur, 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 down, set. What is a set? A set? A set of waves. <laughs> what is a set? <clears throat> like when a comedian is set is when you do a comedy routine. But uh, for a surfer, what's a set? It's a group of waves. That's it? That's, That's all it. you got for me? <laughs> It's just a group Here of comes waves. the set. Here comes set the set of waves. And why is that? They're just coming in. Why do they do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you never <laughs> understand. <laughs> You've never asked that question. Waves come in sets. Like how many? Like three or four? Or is three it different? To four to ten to twenty. Really? Depending on how big the storm is. Dude, that last WSL thing. I was so mad that those guys didn't get a wave at the last minute. A lot of people are saying like, "What if?" When the buzzer sounds, yeah. it's. <laughs> Then it's like you get one set. Yeah, that should be what it is. I kind of like that. I was thinking about it like it's like if they took the goal away in a basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> and like LeBron's like, I can't score, but there's three minutes. <laughs> three minutes to win the game. And they pull the goal slowly away <laughs> and they're like. <laughs> exactly. That's what it was like watching that stupid surf contest. I think you're right. It's insane. <laughs> it's like soccer and they take the ball away for the last hour <laughs> and everyone's like. What do we do? Yeah. No, that's a great point. <laughs> Whoever thought of that yeah. just blows my mind. He's like, well, <laughs> we've been waiting for 10 minutes, but nothing came in, so you lose. So you lose. It's the most non-fun Dude, thing to watch. contest never made sense to me, yeah. ever. Just the whole flo- formula? Well, just like that. It's like, yeah. can I just get a chance at least? <laughs> Makes no sense. It, what is the hate on surf... Uh, what do you call it? Wave pools. What, why, why do some people not like that idea of it being contestable, judgeable? Are people saying that? I thought that's what you said a long time ago. Like, cause it's not nature. It's too well perfect. I don't, I feel like for contests, it makes sense to me that that'd be the way to do it. I don't think I've heard anyone. Oh, okay. Maybe I just assume that cause everyone's such a hater nowadays. Uh, yeah. And other people got mad about the sunscreen. Can you clarify? Last episode, Sterling said, don't wear sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> I said sunscreen gives you cancer. Right. Okay. It's certain kind of sunscreen. <laughs> the majority of sunscreen. I just like that comment. Like, this is dangerous topic, <laughs> Sterling. And I'm like, dang. Kids are like, <laughs> mom, Sterling said. But I did say, I'm like, don't get burnt. Right. Stay out of the sun during peak hours. Yeah. You don't. Like, don't not wear sunscreen and stand in the middle of the day yeah. and get so burnt. The freaking sunscreens that you see in, like, all the tourist stores. Yeah. Just look on the sunscreen. If it has a tons of words you can't pronounce, like, that's the bad stuff. Set it down. Sunscreens that are mostly zinc-based. Okay. Because zinc is, like, the best. Yeah. It, like, 100% blocks the sun. Right. But you look like an idiot with white <laughs> all over your face. I've seen some videos of you. You look like a psycho. <laughs> Why are Brazilians known for being so insanely passionate? What's going on in that country? Dude, they're so much better. Why are they so happy? And I know. I'm so jealous. Like when Americans win, they get excited. But those dudes are crying. They just like somehow they're holding a baby. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they're just better. They're just a more passionate. Maybe it's the music. <laughs> yeah, like, you know how the last contest, the final contest, Griffin had all that crazy support? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was just as many Brazilians from right. all over the world that came. That's insane. Felipe didn't even need hometown support. Yeah. He had world Brazilian support. People f- people flew in to San just to support him. Brazilians do. Ain't no Americans are going to support no, anyone like, anywhere like how far is it i might come by between lattes <laughs> between the latte. <laughs> are hawaiians that way they are they're, they're they come from like that aloha hmm. but they're not that competitive hmm. 
always seem like Hawaii, like Hawaii is so perfect. It's hard for them to like find the will to like get angry and try to win something. Because it's so. Because uh, they just want to go back home. Like whenever I traveled with Hawaiians, they're always like, I just want to go home, brah. <laughs> brah, just so sick and tired of not being at home. I want some shaved ice. <laughs> but I was, I was travel with a lot of like white kids that grew up in Hawaii, but they're white. Yeah. So they're always like kind of cranky. Weird. They're like, like, like brah. If I don't get a freaking coffee already. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, white Hawaiians, they're kind of like, this. they're just kind of angry. Weird. wonder why that does that. I think because they got so much oh, hate. Yeah, they had racism towards them because yeah, they're Yeah, they white. get bullied. Mm, that's a thing. Your homie, Donovan. He did it. Let's do it. Let's. <laughs> Donovan. They do the world record for most consistent, or no, all 50 states or something. <laughs> the most consistent. <laughs> no, he, they played 49. 50 states in 49 days. 50 states in 49 50 days. 50 shows. That's insane. Yeah, he just finished it, and uh, now he's in the world Guinness record thing. Him and the Almond Brother. That's sick, dude. That's so insane. Those guys are hard. How do they do that? That's some hard working dudes. Dude, Donovan's like. Once he's gets going, yeah, there's no stopping. There's no him. stopping, dude. So you love Halloween, really? Isn't it your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Tell the tell the listeners. Nightmare Before Christmas. That is so. You know, I've never watched it. Not once. I've never sat and watched the whole thing. It's too much. The fame and praise come year after year. So that's really your favorite movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember you loving the. What's his name? The main skinny guy? Jack Skellington. You always had like clothes and stuff like that for it. So in the early 90s, <laughs> I was like three years old. And we had the VHS. And I had one of those VHS TVs where you push it in yeah. and it eats it and it almost takes your hand. Like, yeah. And I would, before bed, watch it every night. Really? And I loved the beginning. Like... This, the first song is the best jam ever. We watched it this, as a family this, last oh, year, this, this, <laughs> and I like couldn't. It's too much. Pumpkin scream in the dead, dead of night. night. Woo! The beginning's Woo! fast, but the rest is slow. Maybe that's what happened. I'm too ADD. I need it to be slow. Something <laughs> about... I love the claymation. Right, the whole style of it. Yeah, the style's insane. And uh, I love the love story. <laughs> <laughs> I've some reason I don't know if because I watched it so many times I was becoming Jack. Yeah, in your mind. But I could feel his pain. <laughs> what is his pain? Because his pain is he hates Christmas. Well, he's longing for something new. Oh. He's been crushing Halloween Town for so long, <laughs> and he's the man. He's the guy, and he's the best. And everyone's like, "You're the best." And yeah. I feel like I, in my stupid little brain, like, I'm the best surfer. I'm just the same. Yeah, like yeah. I'm Jack. Yeah, like, I was creating my own <laughs> sorrow. <laughs> my stupid little <laughs> teenage mind. My, no, I was like, dude, I was like nine. Oh, okay. That's even dumber. Because <laughs> you well, I was already surfing for so long. Right. And, uh. People are hitting my mailbox. And, uh, I just, yeah, I love the when it's fall and it, and it starts getting cold and I would watch that movie and like, I love the, the girl on the movie is called Sally. Yeah. She's in love with Jack. Yeah. And they're both singing songs and they don't know. They both love each other and stuff. Oh. It's just, dude, they just get to you. It speaks to you. In the graveyards and the pumpkin patch. That, so yeah, you would watch that movie all year round. I could say every word to that movie right now. My favorite movie is Hook. That's another good one. That's my all-time favorite movie. It's very similar. I can get chills right now if I just let myself imagine the scene when he's... Pan, there you are. Yeah, that scene and when she comes down the... (laughs) When he comes down the steps and she's like, So, Peter, (laughs) you became a pirate. (laughs) Peter, you've become a pirate. I freaking love that movie, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Holy. You've become a fire. (laughs) That movie, dude. Steven Spielberg killed it. 
<laughs> so good. And that. then the the fat kid, the plus guys, yeah. plus size kid, <laughs> he rolls down. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's a million moments I could talk forever about it. I freaking love that movie. I want to be invited on to the SOS VHS podcast and talk about that. What's the SOS VHS? It's um, the producer for Bad Friends, Fancy B. Welcome to another week of SOS VHS. And he started a podcast where you come in and you talk about your favorite movie oh, and you dress cool. up. He just had Andrew Santini on and his favorite movies, Dumb and Dumber. So they wore the orange and blue and it's sick. Oh, I love the fall time, guys. It's October. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's like someone turned the AC on again. I know. Florida's like... <sighs> Dude, the humidity, as you get older, oh my it God. really hurts. Here's what's so funny is I notice how much nicer everyone is when the air conditioner gets turned on. I know. I was riding my bike this morning. <laughs> Everyone's like, yippity morning. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's nice to each other. I bet the death count goes down. Dude, humidity's so gnarly. I hate it. It's freaking crazy. Florida boys. Did you know there's a surf shop called Blonde John's? No, there's not. In Alabama? Sounds like a porn or something. (laughs) (laughs) Blonde John's. I've been getting so many messages about the wrong ones. (laughs) Dude, Wyatt killed it. What's funny is like, I didn't tell him to say any of that. You promise. I swear. You didn't tell him to say scumbag? (laughs) So we would drive by the Ron John shop. Okay, so you drive by the Ron John shop. I'd be like... They don't even have surfboards in there. They're yeah. phonies. Just being funny. And he's he made up scumbags. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it looked like you were like, they're scumbags, say scumbags. I didn't tell him to say anything, I swear. That is hilarious. You know Ron John. You know Ron John. His voice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're trying new microphones because we get so much hate on it. <laughs> Sterling's... Sterling talks like this, and then he screams. <laughs> I'm not an audio guy. I don't know anything about audio. When you go to the bathroom, do you wash your hands every time, or do you fake it? I do wash. Do you? You do yeah. a full My double. My mom taught me again. I when I'm in the bathroom, sometimes I'll like if someone else is in there, I'll just turn the water on for a second. Really? Yeah. And some I don't, I don't want the stink on my hand. What's so stinky? If I'm, you wipe your butt. I'm talking about peeing. I mean, I might do a quick rinse. No, so. Yeah. Tom Segura says he only washes one hand because he's only touching his jubi dabbies with one Probably hand. good. Yeah, I think that's a good way to do it. Just wash like where you touch the... But is your wiener that dirty? See, I've heard people say they wash their hands before because that's actually the better way to do it. You wash your hands before you pee because your hands are dirty. Your wien- why, why is your wiener dirty? What's going on in there? I mean, it's probably pretty dirty in our stank ass <laughs> shorts during the summer. All right. It's so hot. Maybe in California where it's dry and breezy. Yeah, people are just. Did you know like the cleanest part of our body is our butt cheeks? Really? Yeah. Why? Because it's so covered and safe. I've never thought of that. Yeah, the the toilet seat, they did a test. The toilet seat was the cleanest really? thing in the house. And the uh, remote control was the dirtiest. Yeah, because <laughs> like grubby little hands. Think about it. Nothing touches the butt ever. So it's like. <laughs> Perfect, perfect, cleanse. perfect real estate. So I stopped putting toilet paper down in public toilets. Ooh. After I learned that, You're I like, was just like, screw it. <laughs> and then I got this huge gout in my butt. <laughs> What's the most extreme thing to be done? Have you ever done skydiving, bungee jumping, any of that weird stuff? Are you an, ex- are you an adrenaline junkie, Sterling? Well, I got a certificate <laughs> saying I uh, skydive. <laughs> <laughs> You're too freaky. A certificate. So what happened was... <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. You got a certificate that you skydived? Yeah. And I put it on my wall and all my friends my whole life thought I... My mom thinks I did it too. <laughs> so what happened is we're in Hawaii and all the all these kids are going skydiving. Yeah. And I was 18. You have to be 18. Okay. And this kid that was like 16, he couldn't do it. So I gave him my license. <laughs> to the, so he could no do it. No way. So he went to do it with my license. And he said the whole time, they're like, all right, Sterling, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and he came home and he gave he gave me the certificate. Like, you've skydived. That is too freaky. So I had this big certificate, like, Sterling Spencer <laughs> skydive. So I brought it home and I tacked it up. And my parents were like, you went skydiving? I was like, not a big deal. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why didn't you actually go? I was so scared. Dude. I would never do it. It has no interest. I don't, I don't like heights. Dude, I'm scared to step on that chair. But yeah, it was funny. Like my whole life, friends would come into my room like, yeah, it's not a big deal, really. <laughs> so you never told anybody till right now? <laughs> do you still have the certificate? I don't think so. Oh. That'd be good. To find. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is too funny. So I was living in Hawaii with Reynos, my coach. Your trainer, dude. And he was like getting sick of me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like so tired of this teenager. He's American. And he lived with his grandmother. So I would eat dinner with him and his grandmother. <laughs> <at night. laughs> it was so great. She cooked us like That's the best cool. food. So anyways, uh, he got this place he's like billabong needs a house for these kids i can't i can't keep watching you guys like i need my own life <laughs> so his job was to train younger surfers coming up and i was me i was like probably doing the best so he would give me the most attention you know yeah grandma's would cook you dinner. <laughs> so he's like oh you can stay with me and um so like four months go by and he's like i gotta get rid of this kid <laughs> and so you're he, like, got, he got uh billabong to open up uh, like a house at Pipeline. So Billabong rented this place, but the owner kicked out two of these like amazing Pipeline surfers, Ooh. Mark Healy and Jesse Merle Jones. Okay. And they were like the guys. And he kicked them out? He, I don't know why he kicked them out, but Billabong took over. Okay. So Mark, they're both like white kids that grew up in Hawaii. So they're a little... They get the, Tasty. yeah, they they had to fight for their like spot. Okay. So Bill Bonk's kicking them out and I, I had no idea. I'm like 16. Yeah. Like yeah. I know nothing. And I walk up to like Raymond's like, oh, this is where you're staying. And like literally Mark and Jesse are like pulling their clothes out oh. of their house and they're like crying. Like <laughs> we've lived here our whole lives and we have to leave. And I'm like walking in like, well, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> like I had no idea, dude. I thought they were like helping us <laughs> move in, <laughs> but they were getting kicked out, dude. That's uh, so they like hated me. They're like, they'd see me and they're like, "You did this." <laughs> You're 15 years old. <laughs> Whatever happened to them? So I, I remember. Uh, so we moved in, and uh, me and a bunch of kids moved in, and uh, I remember you had to do your laundry outside. And I remember walking. To do my laundry and Merle, Jesse Merle, like, is driving by slow and he sees me and he's like, <laughs> and I was like, You're like, ah, do <laughs> I was like, oh, he's my favorite surfer. He's on locomotion. <laughs> so uh, they got, they were so mad at us, uh, mad that they got kicked out on Halloween night. I think they were all like drunk and they all got railed up. Like, let's go over there and scare them. Yeah. So they came over and like, I remember it was like midnight and I look I looked down and they're all like pushing our rental car like as yeah, hard as they could them. and it was like they're trying to tip it. Oh my and God. I was like <gasps> and all I could see was just dark people like <laughs> and they're just like ah! and they kept going, Cooks <laughs> Cooks and they started banging on our windows and stuff, God. like scaring us. And you were like 16, so you were like, <laughs> oh, I was freaked out. I thought they were going to like break in and kill us. <laughs> <laughs> For taking your room. But they were just like messing with us. Yeah. <laughs> so the next day I tell everyone like serving You us. ratted them? I was like, dude, I told them the story and they were laughing so hard. I was like, I, I was like, I remember seeing like this one guy and he ripped his shirt and he goes, cooks. <laughs> <laughs> and his, his veins are in his neck. I was like, oh, I was in my room like, oh. I like locked my room. I was like, ah. and you're alone, no parents, nothing. There was like a team guy at the house, like the counselor. He was like 20 <laughs> and knew nothing. Yeah, I kind of was like the smartest one, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so the story started getting out, and uh, as a joke, everyone would. Our house is right at Pipeline. Yeah. So everyone, if they were going by our house, they'd go cooks. <laughs> So then it like caught on oh, no. all day long. People were going cooks all day. And then they would throw stuff at my window. Bananas. And I remember I was laying in my bed one night and I'm like, <sighs> and someone threw a water bottle and it goes, <laughs> and 
it flies between the window and explodes over my head. It goes, <laughs> <laughs> and I was laying. I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and I hear this cooks. No way. So we became like this freaking kook house. People just yelled kook at our house the whole <laughs> season. And I remember I finally went home to Florida like crying. Like, oh. You're like, get me out of here. I was like, Reynos, why did you do that? <laughs> Reynos, I want grandma's cooking. <laughs> I remember you guys were talking about you thought Instagram was going to die. You and Rob. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Instagram going to die. That's what we were just talking about last night. Like, I'm exactly. calling it's pretty soon. Really? Yeah. It's gonna be in and out. When there was a time when it was just like you had like your 10 your or 20 crew. people that you're like, yeah, <laughs> sick, he's in Peru. And they're like going through their likes. They're like, yeah. totally. I totally caught myself doing it. Kelly like, Kelly didn't like this one? What the <laughs> frick? Can you secretly film him? Yeah, it's on, we'll show it right now. Rob thought Instagram. He told me he would, that kind of freaked him out at first. Later Shut on. up. He's like, oh, these guys are just, he, this is way later. He's okay. like, Oh, okay, these guys are filming me when I'm not looking. <laughs> I <crap. laughs> I thought, it but was he said obvious. he liked it. Okay, because we didn't make him look bad. He said it kind of freaked him out, but he liked it. Well, because it was all light, fun, and silly. Yeah, because we were just trying to get real st- yeah. raw stuff. That video is one of my all time favorite videos we ever made. California Dreaming. California, the Golden Years. The golden Years. That video is just something about it. It's just special. Well, it was just pre internet. Yeah, that that was when we were tapping into like, hey, I don't want to just watch surf clips and I also don't want to just watch just a skit. Can we morph this into one thing? But small, like it wasn't a 20, 30 minute thing. It was like, I don't even know how long that video is, like six, five minutes. Right. But it was something about it. I felt like we were tapping into something fresh. Yeah, well, Rob was, those kind of pro servers felt untouchable. Right. And so we were just kind of sneaking into his life yeah. making footage and in the end he farts on camera <laughs> still eating the processed tofu hey, bro that's giving you cancer bro bro <laughs> <laughs> and didn't we find out that was the first time his uh wife ever heard him fart yeah it was like his but that, i think they were just they were watching the clip and rob didn't know it was at the end so he's sitting there with his wife and they're like mm-hmm. and like, then he's like Pfft. and she was like, oh, and I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> you go, dude, you're vegan, bro. You're, you you got to eat vegan or something. Vegan steak. Dude, are you eating tofu? Yeah. To- yeah no. You're eating that vegan tofu. Stuff gives you cancer, bro. <laughs> I remember I'd get so scared when I'd hear like a girl liked me. Because it's like, oh, dude, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> Did you like her back? <clears throat> well, all the girls are kind of cute in middle school. Even so if I, they were ugly, they were cute to you. I think just all the girls were kind of cute in Gulf Breeze because hmm. it was like rich. Yeah. Like top specimen. <laughs> middle class. <laughs> but I remember like, oh, freaking Jennifer likes you. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Did worry you? And they would like stare at you and you're like... <laughs> And they started growing stuff right, budding. on their chest. They would start growing things on their chest, and you're like, why is it, yeah. why is it making me feel scared? Your whole life is crumbling in your mind. And then one girl was like, can we kiss? And a I'm girl like, said that? That's what they would do. They'd be like, hey, do you want to kiss at the skating rink? And I was like, what? <laughs> and my <laughs> guy friends are like, yeah, you got to do it, dude. <laughs> Freaking Kenny did it. <laughs> I heard he went to second base and everyone's like, whoa, Kenny's gnarly, dude. Yeah. And I was like, wow, what's second base? Why are we playing baseball? <laughs> yeah. So like. You go to the roller rink. I had to like, so this girl, she's like, we got to go make, we got to make out it's, at the we, skating. We rink. have to. So I get to the skating rink. And I'm so scared. I'm like, I've never kissed before. Really? I'm like, so I like ran into the bathroom and I had my rollerblades on. <laughs> so I like rolled into the bathroom. I'm like looking in the mirror. I'm like, <laughs> here we go. I'm like so scared. I was like, I can't do it. So I'm trying to like sneak out. One guy's like Sterling. He like grabs me and like rolls me. I'm like, Whoa. Was, he, was he Kenny? <laughs> it was Daniel. <laughs> so he like pushing. He's, I'm like trying to stop, but I'm on rollerblades. I'm like, wait. <laughs> and so like she's sitting and, um, 
So she's sitting there and everyone's like standing around waiting. They're like, I heard someone's making out. And I was like, a lot of pressure. So I sit next to her and I'm like, this is it. And she and she, she was like the first one to grow stuff. Yeah. And I, I was like. So we like finally kissed and freaking people are just standing around staring at that us. That is so awkward. In like a circle. And was it like a. Everyone has rollerblades on. It was, was it like, like a probably a terrible makeout. Was it just like a no? So you guys tried it. Yeah, I like, didn't even know what to do. You're just like, I'm like on her ear, like. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Oh my god! Oh, stop it. She's like oh. my mouse over here. <laughs> so that was it. It happened at a roller rink. So then, this one girl, Jennifer, Ooh. she was jealous. Oh. She was in love with me. Okay. She was mad that Lauren took took me <laughs> so then so jennifer she had a camera whoa a little disposable thing yeah so we were kissing and she goes Ka-ching! and i remember feeling this flash happen <laughs> so she took the picture and went and developed it and took it to my dad at inner light shut up i swear <laughs> i'm not making this up this is insane <laughs> so my parents are super christian right you're in a dark alley so Jennifer was so jealous, she ratted me out. What a little bit. I know. Jennifer, she was always up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> so freaking, my dad picks me up from school early. You're like, Shirley, you're getting checked out early. Oh, like, oh, no. Is the surf up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I get in his car and he's like super quiet. He's like, the most ten- he's driving me to Waffle House, and that's when you're in trouble. Oh, and yeah, in the South, you go to Waffle House <laughs> <laughs> when, you're, when your dad is mad. <laughs> so we're like, I'm like, why are we going to Waffle House? And he's like, he hands me the phone. He's like, what's this? I'm like, what? You weren't allowed to kiss a girl? Um, I guess not. <laughs> that's why I'm so messed up now. <laughs> so he hands me the photo, and I'm like, he's like, he's like, you know, I know it's natural to want to kiss girls and stuff, but you're 13 and <laughs> <laughs> just same some sort of dad talk. They were just they they said Jesus was mad at me or something. Oh my god, it made me guilt trip me. Did you get the All Star Special at Waffle House? They were like, "You're gonna go to hell," and then like we're eating eggs, and you're just eating a waffle. Wow. So super traumatizing. That's crazy that you know. somebody printed out a photo of you kissing somebody at a roller. Oh, my first kiss. Is it that would be sick to have your first kiss? And what's funny, my mom, she kept a diary of everything in my life. Yeah. It's like stupid little diary. Yeah. And she put the photo in the diary. And I remember she she didn't know I knew um I get I knew how to get into the diary. It had a little click. No way. It had a lock. And I figured out how to get in it. I remember opening the page up (laughs) and uh, my picture, and she's like, Today Sterling got caught. Jesus knows everything we do, and Sterling learned a valuable lesson <laughs> so to never Jennifer. sin again. And I remember I took the picture, I was like, and I like ripped it up. I was like, no, I like ripped the page. I'm like, I was like, I'll show you. What a weird thing to have happened, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. There was always like a evil eye watching everything I did. I couldn't do anything around town with get, without getting in trouble. Well, we live in a tiny town. I used to get called all the time. Uh, pastor John, my dad's a pastor. Mm-hmm. We saw Ryan speeding down shoreline. <laughs> like I'd get yelled at too, but not about getting kissing. Okay, what's the best comment? All right, guys. So remember, if you have the best comment, you go on the wall. Number one podcast where grown men make kapow noises to funny surf videos. <laughs> I like that one. I, I vote Sterling for WSL commentator. Doosh, kapow! You know the rules. People really like your Batman weird noises. Oh. The Kelly slash Bill Russell comparison was a mind melter. Whoa. I like that one. Last one. Now every time I get caught inside or I take a crap, I make the Sterling Badoosh! sound. <laughs> you pick it. Let's see. I'm going to say... I, I'm going to say number one podcast where grown men make kapow noises to funny search videos. <laughs> We Winry 7522, you made it on the wall. Congratulations, We Winry. <laughs> Best comment gets on the wall, guys. We win we. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Tell your friends and family. <gasps> this is it. This is it. William Montgomery. How's it?
Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch My Salt. <laughs>